storms that are moving through the Charlotte area. Some counties are under a severe thunderstorm watch. We want to start with meteorologist Aisha Scott, who is live from Interstate 85. Aisha, how are the roads right now as people head home from work? You know what, Fred, the roads are certainly slow because we have the rain and we also have to deal with the afternoon rush hour traffic. So I want to show you a look at where we are right now. We're on I-85 northbound. We actually just passed the Matthews Huntersville exit. Now keep in mind, we're moving here, so traffic is moving, which is good news, but obviously at a little bit of a slower clip because of the rain and it's coming down pretty heavily and pretty steady as well. We were merging onto I-85 northbound from I-77 and it took us about 30 minutes to merge onto I-85. So just a heads up, if you do plan on taking 77 northbound to head to I-85 uh, northbound, you're going to run into some pretty slow traffic. Also, right at the Graham Street exit, there was an accident there. So obviously that slowed us down a little bit as well. So if you are heading out this evening, just use extra caution. Be careful on the roads because the heavy rain also means we're seeing that ponding and also the puddling on the side of the roads, but also merging onto and off of the interstate. We're seeing some of that ponding as well. So just be careful this evening. If you do have to travel, uh, I was looking at some of the rainfall rates anywhere from about one to two inches per hour with the, not only the storms, but also some of the heavier batches of rain that we're seeing move through the area right now. So again, just use extra caution, be careful if you do have to travel this evening. Now, I want to send it over to Chief Meteorologist Brad Pinovich because, Brad, I'm trying to figure out here how long are we going to be dealing with the rain through the evening and if it will last for the rest of tonight. Yeah, it's moving pretty slow, Aisha. The line is kind of extending all the way from the Greensboro area back into the upstate. Now, the good news is we currently do not have any warnings, but doesn't mean these storms aren't strong because we've got a lot of cloud to ground lightning and very heavy rain, as you saw from the, uh, the Chevy Storm Tracker, especially here in York County. Very heavy rain, a lot of cloud to ground lightning. Remember, lightning is no, there's no issuance of warnings for lightning. Lightning is all by itself. Stay indoors until you hear about 30 minutes after that last thunder. So stay away from the windows if you can. There are a lot of cloud and ground lightning strikes. This is just in the past 15 minutes. So make sure you keep the kids indoors. Maybe wait the, to walk the dog. This will continue pushing south and east for a while here. So here's a timeline as it pushes into areas heading into the sand hills. Very slow moving line, only moving about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So flash flooding could become a concern as we go through the evening hours. Coming up, we're going to talk about round two of storms that will be moving in for your Tuesday and then the heat. It's really going to crank up later this week, Vanessa. All right.